Hey guys, so I did a little video on this $9 computer from Next Thing. Well, it worked great except it has one bug when you turn it off and turn it back on. A lot of the times it actually doesn't boot up. And they have a fix for it, but it requires installing Ubuntu and downloading patches and stuff. And they said they're going to come up with a fix that you can just simply run on a Windows PC. I think it took three weeks, but it's finally here. So let's see if it actually fixes it. So let's go to getchip.com. That's their website. Go to their documentation page. Get the repair tool. And here is the Windows version. Let's download it, huh? Unzip it, run it. And here we are, running the repair tool. Click the Let's Get Started. Oh, look at that animation. Next. <laughs> Says no chip detected. So I'm supposed to plug it in. I, let me plug it in. And found a chip. I guess I'll press continue. And there it goes, I guess. Hopefully this is it. Hopefully it actually works. <laughs> uh oh, it's stuck. Oh, here it goes. So it's uh, no light blinking or anything. It's just sitting there. It's going pretty fast. Uh oh. It's probably rebooting it or something. I guess it's done. Pfft, that was easy. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, here's my setup, guys. I have the chip right here. It only has one USB port, and that's connected to the powered USB hub. That's why there are two power adapters down there. One to power the chip PC through this micro USB. The second adapter to power this powered hub. The power switch is just this little push button. It's not a slide switch or anything, and you have to hold it for a couple seconds for it to boot up. There's a power light right there on the on that side, I think. And you hold it down and that powers up. I'm gonna have to turn off the power the light so you guys could see the screen better. It works, that's good. Let's see if it boots up all the way. Yep, looking good. This thing is pretty responsive. Let's just run something real quick. Yep, it works. But the question is what happened when I tried to reboot it? That was the problem. It's like Unless you let it sit for a couple of minutes, it actually doesn't come back. Let's just reboot for now. And then we'll try power off next time. Because even this would didn't work. So that works right there. I mean, it doesn't even, basically the video went blank and it never came back. So this works. That's awesome. Okay, we're back. Like I said, let's try to actually do a shutdown. This did not come back last time before we did this repair. So that's going to actually power off completely. So I should see my TV screen come back. Yep, chip PC is actually completely off. So I'm going to press the power again. Power went on. It's working great. Good job guys, so for that next thing, um, I'm pretty pleased. This was basically work every once in a while. I have to try like five or six times before this actually work. But now it seems like we've tried it, what, three times? Okay, so it still works. Let's try one last time. Powering down, lights still on, lights off. Yep, we lost video signal. And I'm gonna hold the power button back on. LED came on. And we got signal. I think it's working great. <laughs> so they really fixed it. I guess it's time to start actually playing with this thing. I'm going to log up Python and see what I can do with this thing. I'll talk to you guys next time. Mm -hmm.